galaxy is burning. Brother fights brother, and treason splits the Imperium of Man. This is the Age of Darkness. Welcome to the Remembrancer's Retreat, coming to you from within the depths of the Vengeful Spirit. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Remembrancer's Retreat, a Warhammer 30k Horse Heresy podcast. My name is Jesse. I'm here today with Stephen, Austin, and Will. How's everybody doing tonight? Hey, yo. I'm doing really good. glad that we weren't doing it in person, because then you couldn't point at us to try and introduce ourselves. Yeah, this way always works better. I'm doing great, Jesse. <laughs> uh-huh. yep. I'm not doing great. I'm stuck in North Carolina. You should have been watching the Kabaddi. I don't, I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's like an Indian sport. It's like the second most popular sport in India. It's like if tag and dodgeball and like... I don't know. Rugby had a baby. Hmm. My dude, it's not a baby. I, I want to see. It's I play, not a baby. I want to see. I play war games on on tables with dice. You think I? I don't watch American sports. Yeah, pretty sure I would die within thirty seconds playing that game that you just described. Oh, uh, I would not. I would not live. I'm not a young man, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't a young man when you were young. That's fair enough. That's not true. I saw the picture. And uh, it took me a minute to realize who Austin was. Like, it, without the facial hair, which I have only ever seen Austin with, it was a complete stranger I was looking at. I was like, who is this fucking maniac who has Austin's eyes and nothing else of him? It's, it, it was a deep fake. Yeah, I saw it, yeah, a picture. That's- <laughs> <laughs> I not saw the jawline, not the waistline. What's happening? Yeah, I saw a picture of, uh, of Austin without any facial hair one time. And- did we lose Steven? And he, and he vanished from the face of the earth. That's right, he, people. Yeah, it Don't so go terif- looking. <laughs> yeah. It was so terrifying. He just evaporated from earth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did my, my mic must have cut out. I'm yeah. not at oh, home <laughs> with all of my, not at home with all of my fancy equipment. Yeah. I you're rocking the this. little Logitech headset. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. The old $25 came. Best Buy special. What are we talking about today? Dire Wolf. That's from we- Austin's we- deep fake. Yeah. yeah. Dire, dire Wolf found. Oh, yeah, okay. Scout Titan. Heavy Scout Titan. Yeah. Heavy. Yeah. God, I fucking love it so it's, much. Yeah. It, so we've fucking kind adorable. Of been, uh, we've kind of been, like, speculating amongst ourselves for the past, I don't know, probably two years or so, what a different Scout Titan would look like. Right. And, now, uh, if, I, if I remember, the, they are, like, the... There's other variations of Titans mentioned that we don't have models for. So this isn't... Yes. Just them pulling something out of their butt. Maybe this particular frame is, right? But the concept of there being other Titans we haven't seen yet is yeah. very yeah, that, well known. Oh, yeah. That, that's been a thing kind of since the Horus Heresy proper. Uh, they, like, they've mentioned, like, other stuff. Yeah, you know, we got uh, rapiers. Yeah, uh, and the rapier, which is kind of a sub-warhound class that just has a dorsal weapon. And then they we mentioned this as being like, they didn't really describe what it was beyond like, it's a heavy scout Titan. Yeah. Um, but this is delightful. I, it, it gives me, so I know for a while, um, back when the old, uh, I think it was just called Titanicus. Yeah. The, the original game in which Titans showed up and blew each other up. Uh, dire wolf was a, uh, was a class of Titan was a class of Warhound just with a different, like all the different classes, uh, night, night gaunt carnivore, stuff like that. were just names for loadouts of what we consider to be the big three, uh, Warhounds, Reavers, Warlords. Interesting. Okay. That makes Mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, But now, I mean, that was 20 plus years ago. Oh God, 30, 40 years ago. Now it was a long time ago. Don't think about it, Steve. Just, just move Uh, on. Um, but now we're getting um, we have a we have an official dire wolf here. You can see it. Um, the Titanicus supplements reference dire wolves, night gaunts, and other titan. Oh, what do we got? Oh, there we go. <clears throat> um, which is all to say that I I think we're probably in for a wide variety of releases uh, in Reaver and Warlord scale as mm-hmm. well. Yeah. 
Yeah, there, so, there are at least two more main quote mainline titans because they're the Night Gaunt, which I think it, it used to be a a subcategory of Warlord. Mm-hmm. Um, now I think it's going to fill that kind of Reaver to Warlord gap that they said they were going to hit. Like just more of a melee the one, which the Warbringer, right? Well, yeah. Well, some something kind of in between, you know, a scale nine again, but more of a combaty one, and then the the rapier, which. Presumably is going to be maybe something akin to this, but with more of the Warhound legs, lighter armor, with just the dorsal gun. Just a fast well, that, gun, yeah. yeah. Your your idea your idea certainly tracks because um, the a uh, scale nine engine, right, like the Warbringer, but built for a different purpose. Uh, the Direwolf here is still scale six. It's the same scale as a Warhound. But right. it's obviously built for doing something different. Yeah, yeah. I love. I'm here for it, man. If you want to give me more of the same scale, just different roles, that's awesome. Um, and yeah. Now, my thing, I can't remember from reading the article. Is this going to be a Forge World or a Games Workshop? Uh, Forge World. I believe that's how it reads. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the impression you get. Interesting. So it may fill a even smaller niche, like prob- yeah. maybe you might not be able to fill out a complete maniple of just these little guys. What yeah. I suspect is we'll probably see a, um, it'll, it'll probably be, have the support Titan rule. Potentially. Yeah. Maybe but like, what is the support Titan uh, restriction? What's the support that? Titan is, uh, you can only have one engine per so many points. Like the Warbringer, I think you can only have one, per 1,000 points, and I think okay, the so Master is one per 2,000. Yeah, that sounds right. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. so if we stick with that general uh, formula, we might see the the Dire Wolf as a one per 500. Okay, yeah. That, one per that would 500. Which <laughs> is, you, you could have one for every two Warhounds, yeah, which to one me for sounds pretty good. More like. Because mm-hmm. it does pack a Volcano Cannon. Yeah. Yeah, two and a fifteen hundred yeah. point list sounds about right. Mm-hmm. Just judging yeah. by this weaponry. Which, speaking of weaponry, you want to? Who wants to roll into uh, what we got here? We got yeah, a carapace so let's, weapon. Let's talk guns. So we'll start off with the Ardex Defense Mega Bolter because that's the simplest one. Mm-hmm. Well, um, before and, we do that, uh, we should probably at least describe it a little bit for anyone who hasn't seen it. Um, <laughs> it's. <laughs> you, you think there's people listening to this who haven't seen it yet? I don't know. Maybe they don't have they, eyes. Will do you ever think okay, of that? It looks like a. It looks like a chicken with guns. That's it's got chicken legs. It's a, a chicken, chicken with a warhound gun, <laughs> uh, with a bellicosa duct a reaver bellicosa duct taped on top. Yeah, look at yeah, take okay. a look at the episode art. It'll be on there. And I am yeah. deeply in love. Yeah, deeply it looks in really love. Nice. I, um, plenty of people on the internet have been bitching about this. Uh, all, of all of them are wrong. Stop. All of them are wrong. <laughs> Uh, yeah, people do say it's a little bit of an ugly duck, and I, is, I, and I kind of it. agree. It is very out of the the I guess the art style. I think of like the smooth armor panels that you usually see. Like these are kind of a little bit more squared off, and then they just threw a warhound head on it. Honestly, it and looks I, like it could be a Lucius Titan. That's kind of what I was thinking. It, too. it has does. a Lucius feel to it. And honestly, like I, I know a lot of people have complained. Oh, it's got the same head as the warhound, bro. This is. Like, is that what I sound like? No, 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 not you. <laughs> you just mentioned it as a feature, but there are people that are actively upset that it's the same head. Yeah. And one, it's not. There, There's some stylistic differences. And two, like, you use the same, like, that's just how the military works. Right, you got a exactly. part that works, you just bolt it onto something else. Yeah, like, no one complains that the Abrams has the same wheels as another vehicle. <laughs> Or bridge, bridge tank. Tank. Yeah. yeah, it's got the same tank. chassis as the Bridger. That's dumb. Why didn't they make a more aesthetic? So they can fix the same damn thing with the same damn parts. That's why. Yeah, you fucking like, dummies. These are rare. You want your Warhound pilots to be able to, you know, get in and do the work. So, of course, the place that they're going to hang out looks identical, right? Like You know what it looks like, guys? Uh, it's just now occurring to me. Mm. It looks like that f- that that... Old school, the like the very first resin warhounds they used to have. Yeah, what? Who? Who, bit, yeah. who makes that? What is? What is it called? 
Armor cast. Armor yeah. cast. It looks like an armor cast reaver with a bellica or with a volcano cannon strapped to its head. Um, yeah, that's it immediately does. what what I think of. Like yeah, it has the exact easier, same sure, leg but... styles. It's got like the guns are mounted to the side, like directly coming out, not on little pendulum arms or anything like that. I definitely am getting those kind of vibes from it. And I like. I honestly, I honestly kind of i I hate the way it's shaped, but I love how much I hate it. Like it's an <laughs> ugly titan, and I love how ugly it is. Honestly, I think it's like my an ugly biggest... car that you don't like to admit that you actually like. Yeah. Wish you had. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the yeah. Dodge Charger. <laughs> like it's it's feet. It has such stupid little stupid looking feet for a Scout Titan. It doesn't look mm-hmm. like there's any like uh, articulation in there. Like a Warhound has like triple jointed toes. This thing is just big dinosaur feet. No. It's great. It looks and like I will set it up on rails and just let it you know slide yeah, around yeah. like a train. Right. That is the <laughs> one thing. Oh, actually, you know, now that I'm looking at this more, because I was about to make fun of its feet, but um, if you look, it looks like it's, it's braced for light. firing. It's got yeah. it's got something coming off the back, off the ankle, yeah, off like the off the back of the ankle that like it'll hunch down and get into that firing position. So it's like this is kind of dumb. Like those feet don't look like they'd be a stable firing platform. It is if but you make your Titan go hull down. Yeah, if yeah. you're shooting a neutron laser, you probably need to brace somehow. It's a laser. Lasers don't need to brace. It's fine. Depends on the science fiction laser, I guess. But That's true. I I know the LAS rifle has a kick, but there's some gas involved there. So well, I don't. that's all, honestly what you were mentioning in the feet and that kind of stuff is exactly what I was going to mention is it looks like it's actually built with function over form in this sense. Like... Uh, the way the legs are designed along with the feet is it looks like it could get into a near prone position, stand up, fire the volcano cannon, and then duck back down behind cover if needed. You know, like I, I feel like this thing is is built with the gun platform in mind as opposed to a Titan that then they slap guns on. Like guns are first on this thing and then everything else then, comes second. Then you they know? built the Titan yeah. onto it. it. It's yeah, the exactly. Warthog <laughs> of Warhounds. Yeah, I, they I can't wait to... A gun. <laughs> they got a gun and built a Titan around it. That's what it kind of feels like. I don't, that, I don't know. That's delightful because I do love the Warthog. Yeah, I can't wait you to know, move Will, flat out and just shoot this thing. Yeah. Oh, well, Will, there are differences on that helmet. You're not wrong there, dude. Yeah, there are I mean, definitely minor bit. variations just to make it look a little bit different. A little bit heavier. Mm-hmm. Um, but your, your comment that it looks like it should be like lying down and sniping people. And I had a thought, like as we were talking about it, that it's a scout Titan. Yes. But whereas I imagine a Warhound being like, you know, the spear tip of kind of an aggressive formation and like running out and finding targets. Mm -hmm. This is more a scout in the sense that it, you know, we know the enemy is coming in the next three weeks. Go, go look, overlook that pass and let us know when they show up. Like that's kind of Ooh, the vibe I get. Yes, from I know exactly what you mean. What was it during the Cold War? There was a tank designed by I think like Norway or something uh, like the, that. The Finns, the ones that only <laughs> that that had the gun. It was backwards. a completely def- yes, yes. Yep. It was a completely defensive tank whose purpose was to fire and then move back the line and just hold off the Russian advancement. That's mm-hmm. that's this man. That's what I'm feeling. And you know, it does say I, right I, here in the Warcom article disturbingly good at ambushes. <laughs> it's scary. And it's all it's... coming together, folks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It also mentions it has more armor plating, so... Yeah, I imagine this is Little maybe more. like one point more armor, at least in the body and legs. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, oh, and then, sure. you know, maybe, maybe yeah. an inch or two slower in the movement. Uh, on the maybe an inch slower regular, two inches slower boosted kind of vibe going. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm in love. I I mean, there's always a chance that, because it is GW, it's 80 bucks a piece and I can't afford four. That's on the cheap side, I feel. Um, yeah. My gut says yeah. it's going to be on the cheap side there. <laughs> but I want four. I don't know. Because if my little saber tank was like 100 bucks, if I remember right. Uh, that is a tr- years. That is true. I mean, look at how much, how much... Is um the that uh, I mean it might be eighty uh, for two that big that heavy Titan with the with the conversion the Warmaster? Master no the the knight I'm sorry the big heavy knight oh, the Porphyrin the Castus the the yeah. yeah yeah whichever uh, whichever that one is that comes with a single model with the conversion I mean, we can, let me check we can find out right now yeah 
And I don't have a mechanical keyboard, so no one will I hear got a, me. I typing. got a phone, bitch. Chill out. <laughs> You're not going to hear me click clacking, okay? <laughs> click clacking away. Click clacking. All right. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, neutron yes, laser. Let's talk neutron about laser. Tell me about the neutron laser. Yeah, well, we, we, we got it way off. <laughs> we got way off track. So it come. We know it comes with two weapons. Uh, it comes with uh, a volcano cannon. That's well. It has the option to. I can't say it actually comes in the kit because you know how Forge World can be sometimes. Mm. Um, but it's got the volcano cannon. I assume it's the exact same stats as the Reaver one. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. It's good. However, you can get the neutron laser, and it's direwolf carapace, uh, forty-five points. Short range of 30, you get plus one to hit. Long range of 60, one dice strength seven. What's the point of this, you ask? Well, the point is it's bypass carapace draining and shock. Oh, That's so boy. fucking rude. <laughs> so, so hold on. Hold on. Dra- draining, obviously, that's going to cause a reactor. Yeah, dice, uh-huh. right? when, you, when you shoot it, you got to roll Shock react. is going to force a shutdown, if I remember. Yes. Is that right? Yes. yes. Okay, I asked because bypass. keep in mind I'm still like the newest player of of a AT here, so I'm, I'm also trying to test my rules. What's bypass do though? Ignore that- shields. Ignore <laughs> shields. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. And it looks like it has a 45 degree arc as well. I'm so- yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah it's not the core full front arc. Yeah. Which is a little silly. I, I don't scary. know if that's a typo or not. It is scary. Um, Because looking at the design of the gun itself, it looks like a corridor. It's got a lot of swivel to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you have to. Well, but its hips do. Its hips do. Like, yeah, yeah. That's that's probably. I I suppose theoretically has. That's probably what it's seeing. Yeah, Uh is that it's using that to to give it the full arc, unlike a warlord, which isn't like swinging itself back and forth. Yeah, and a well, the warlord, the warlord, warlord has swagger. so much more mass that if you swing yeah, like, it around, there's a lot to compensate for. Yeah, you you don't want to do that in a warlord, and it's got the yeah, gun. But on arms. a but on a warbringer, I mean, its turret literally can like swing back and forth. But then they put that decorative armor there, just like the fucking Imperium too, uh, which <laughs> blocks it's, its movement. Because <laughs> it's not about being efficient, Will. It's about sending a message. Yeah. yeah. Oh, by the then, by the way, the Acastus is sixty two bucks. So I think Austin, I think eighty bucks. Really? Sounds about right. 62 do- Oh, AT yeah. Acastus. Okay, that makes yeah. more sense. And it's I just the one? Gonna I'm going to say, yeah. The, the one Acastus that's on a 50 millimeter base and is roughly the size of a Warhound. Uh, I'm looking I, at one, one, right, one, so, one, 120, Bob. So maybe 120 Freedom Books. Maybe I'm going to go 79.99. Well, one dollar. Price is one right. Dollar. Price, <laughs> price is right. Rules these. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, because I mean, the Morax are fifty, and the um, the Warglaves are fifty. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, this look, thing's sixty. I honest, Austin, I think you're right on the money, dude. I think it's gonna be like eighty bucks. Yeah, looking at my Warhounds, they are a little bit smaller than I, but they're about dreadnought sized. So, yeah, I mean, maybe. you get one of them, and you get two of them for sixty bucks, sixty five bucks yeah. for plastic GW ones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hard to say. So I don't see. Laser, I don't see a lot of plastic on this one. I think a, no, this is probably think, a full resin mostly, kit. Mostly, mostly resin. Yeah, I would say almost certainly mostly resin. Um, maybe plastic body? No, probably not. I don't not think there's not. anything in here that coincides. I don't yeah, see with really the up. You with could put the, the skeleton, but the way the Warhound kit's laid out, you can't just take like half of that and shove it on. Yeah, it's not like a like a Deimos Rhino, you know, where you get the the plastic chassis. Yeah, no, I don't think this on. is an upgrade kit at all. I think no. this is. I don't think this is a hybrid kit at all. Is what I mean to say. Um, I, yeah, this is going to be. It's all full resin, I believe. God, um, but um, but yeah, this neutron laser looks scary, but it's forty five points and only has one shot. It does only mm. have one shot. I tell you, man, the, mm. the when you do get that one shut off on somebody, it will ruin their day. So I mean, I mean if I you feel can like get that one shot a single guy would feel kind of overpowered. Okay, so here's the here's the thing about shock though, is that by the time shock actually uh, takes place, chances are movement is already done and it's just in the combat phase. The shot the shutdown order uh, inflicted by a shock weapon goes away at the end of the turn. So it's not like normal shutdown orders where you have to do a leadership check to turn yourself back on. But doesn't it still kill their shields? 
yeah, it does kill the shields, um, which is good. That's why you first fire with this yeah. thing. The the That's true. You could first rests. fire. Yeah, you could <laughs> first fire, and then no more movement or um, or combat. Which it makes me just dropping wonder. somebody's shields man, and like shutting somebody down, preventing a charge. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a lot you can do with that, in my opinion. At strength seven too, so like you do have to get at least a uh, a direct hit. Yes. Yeah, yeah. This is this is unlikely to be doing it to warlords, but what this thing does is just. Oh, beat sorry. The it's also on a four up. It's also you have to. It's it's not just an immediate shutdown. It is a four up. Sure. Okay. So you got a direct hit, then a four up to. Mm-hmm. There's a gotcha. 50 50 chance that it still doesn't happen. But still, I mean, a strength seven weapon is nothing this, to sneeze at. This will beat the brakes off of hounds. Oh yeah, oh, hounds are gonna yeah. have a real bad day for sure. Yeah. Or because I know. Everybody thinks they're so OP. Profurian? Suck a dick? <laughs> yeah, I mean, 60 inches, you'll be able to reach out. Yeah, and you'll be able to get them earrings. right back. It ignores their shield. A strength seven is nothing to sneeze at when they don't get a save against it. Mm-hmm. And uh, the damn things are always so static. Yeah. Look, a lot of people use Reavers for their, like, charging dudes like they're really good combats and that's all i'm thinking about is shutting down a reaver before he makes a charge that's cries in metallica yeah, yeah Max- exactly. maximally disrespectful to steve <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh buy it by the strata by the sabotage stratagem for extra fun and just turn off one reaver and shoot the others <laughs> <laughs> oh no nighty night snooze manifold <laughs> Yeah, and now that we've now that we've pointed out those uh, stabilizers on the legs, it makes me wonder if the uh, if the dire wolf will have a rule similar to the porphyrin, which is you know if it goes on first fire, uh, it gets plus one to its ballistic skill. Oh, that would be fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'd also because it does have the very stable feet, even though they look a little ridiculous. If it might have a like, yeah, if you don't move at all, you you can't be knocked about by Quake. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Oh, right, right, right. Like some sort of siege tank that just clamps its little side yeah, legs like down. Yeah, sit down and, and there you go. Because there, mm-hmm. there are some uh, Legio traits that'll do that for you. I like the little avoid shields on the hind end, on the side. Neat yeah, placement. that is that is fun. They had to move. Yeah, like an afterthought. They're like, fuck, uh, we forgot to put these on. Where did uh, we put uh, them, uh, man? Uh, uh, <laughs> so it's, it's only a warhound. It doesn't have shields anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, speaking um, of uh, shields, though, and generally heat, all of its carapace weapons have draining, and I don't expect to see that much more of a robust reactor track on this thing. Yeah, I oh, honestly, that's true. It's, I don't expect any more reactor. I don't I would know. Hope, I would hope that instead of green, yellow, straight to orange, like uh, a normal hound, that it might have two yellow instead of two orange. Yeah, uh, I mean, more than maybe more shots. Sir, maybe an extra servitor. The, uh, I don't know, the whole an extra carapace seems a little nice. bit bigger. It, it does. It might be able to house maybe like one or two more tracks. I don't know. We'll see. I don't think we'll get two, because that then you're in Reaver territory. Yeah, yeah maybe two, one. Is, two is probably you'll too get, many. You'll one get one nice. at the most, but one unlucky roll with the neutron laser... And you're going to be hot forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's really all I want is that I want it. I want it to be able to take that double draining or that double heat from draining and not be in the orange. Really curious to see how this will interact with corrupted titans. Ooh, yeah, we have. Well, uh, it's gun scale gun six, that, so uh, uh, it can take a basic mutation and two others, which means for those or of three you if you play in furnace. For those of you keeping track at home. Uh, you could buy presumably the neutron laser as the more expensive and then swap it out for a volcano cannon. If you want. Oh you know? my God. Writhing carapace. You're right. Early, early game. You take the neutron la- and then, so you take a uh, frozen soul, right? For the extra heat dissipation mm-hmm. as your uh-huh. base mutation and then writhing carapace. And you start off with the neutron laser, uh, to dump people's shields early game, and then late game, you switch over to the to the volcano cannon. I'm sorry, or, what? Yeah, what? Yeah, oh, right in carapace. Sorry. Will oh. there? It's a uh, you can just corrupt- you can just mutate your carapace. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, so you just so your carapace. Weapon. The rule is, holy god! If you have right in carapace, instead of going on an order, you can swap your carapace weapon 
for any other weapon of equal or lesser points value. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, it's real it's real nice. Yeah. Do these cost points? Because I that's one thing, yes, guys. I it costs, yes, it costs yes, points. I, uh, I, I think that one is only like fifteen, but that's it's a, a very fair deal. It's your second corruption. So your leadership, your command value will be too worse than it otherwise would be. <gasps> Ooh, so there oh. is quite a payoff. Like you, know, I, you can always go back into our uh, catalog and listen to uh, us talk about corrupt wait titans. Wait a minute, this a few, podcast has corrupted titan content? Yeah. I yeah, think I might. It does. It does. Yeah. I play traitors though. <laughs> oh, it's never true. mind. Yep. <laughs> Can't do it. <laughs> um, but it is really fun. So, so yeah, no, with, entirely, with the corruptions, God. I'm not entirely certain that I actually would ever take the volcano cannon on a uh, on the dire wolf and for one reason and one reason only and that's because it's a blast weapon what? you don't like Make blasts a- called shots oh yeah okay steven mm-hmm. counterpoint sure counterpoint, that volcano cannon will blow a hole open and then you've got the ardex defense mega defensor mega bolter for the called shot finishing blow me- See, Defense Mega Bolter, what's that? We haven't talked about that yet. What a great segue, Will. Uh, Excellent work, it's, everyone. <laughs> it's Dire Wolf Torso, High 10 times. points. Uh, it has the exact same stats as a Mega Bolter, uh, 10 inch short, 20 long, but no accuracy. So actually, that is a change. There's no mm. accuracy bonus for short range. And uh, they're it's paired. Six, six dice at strength four, paired rapid, which means that the little... Each arm is only shooting half of those shots. Oh. Uh, so if you're, you know, if one arm can't see the target for whatever reason, uh, or it just has a different sight picture from the other one, you could sure. roll half dice or dice at different uh, accuracy. But it is rapid, which is delightful. Yeah. Uh, but another, hmm, another instance of them giving a Titan a weapon with a very specific name. Uh, the Ardex Defensor Mega Bolter, if you're doing a DIY Legion, cannot benefit from any of the, like, Bolter weapon upgrades because it specifically calls out Vulcan Mega Bolters, and these are not Vulcan Mega Bolters. Makes so, sense. like, no, mac- yeah. no macro magazines on the Ardex. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Well, we'll wait for an FAQ. But also, I wouldn't want to pay for macro... <laughs> I wouldn't want to pay 30 points if I'm not getting the short range bonus. That's fair. Too. Um, and, and like Jesse said, there could always be an FAQ out about it. Cause there are some that are just, Hey, you get the bonus. If it says laser in the name. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So it, right. It I mean, wouldn't be beyond the, past, the pale right? for them to go, Hey, have this read anything with mega bolter in the name. Uh, yeah. But I, I do really I, like it. Yeah. And I'll point out cause, cause some, uh, I, I was talking to a couple people about this before and they were not upset, right? But they were puzzled uh, at the weapon loadout for this, right? Because the Mega Bolter on a Titan is a short range weapon. And then the laser and the volcano cannon are very much sit back and snipe weapons. And they were wondering, why the hell does this Titan have both? And it's because I swear to God, GW is future proofing. Because if you look at this from a ra- like quote unquote rational standpoint, right in a in a world where chainsaws make good close combat weapons, <laughs> um, what this Titan is armed with for fighting other Titans is the carapace weapon. The arm weapons are self defense from enemy infantry and light vehicles that like get up close to it. Oh man, what kind of what kind of game has tiny little infantry models? Well, I'm glad you asked, Stephen, because it's epic. And GW has apparently been trolling some people. I saw that. About saw epic. That. Um, they made the gods turn the omen into reality. <laughs> well, hey, at one o'clock today, we may find out. Inshallah, yeah, one, Stephen. Inshallah. 1 a.m. here on the, uh, on the East Coast. You'll have to tell me all Watch about it. Watch out crazy. Gonna, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to release this episode right after we're done with this. Ooh, right into shit. it. Oh, good. Watch good. me. Watch how good I can get. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Watch him whip. Watch him nay nay. I got till one a.m. to, to, to finish game. it. I can take care of it. <laughs> Every Titan should be so lucky as to have a tech priest like Jesse. Yeah, I don't really want um, more bolters. I want more flamestorm weapons. 
Give me more flamethrowers. God, it would be hilarious if I they mean, set this thing up with a you tiny need? flamethrower. I need all of them. Steven it's... needs significantly fewer. They're atrocious. I need burn, more. baby, burn. Or have but you know, burn? you could you could stick. Um, what is it? Whatever Serastus has the flamethrower. You Your tiny sit, ones. Yeah. You could sit that Serastus flamethrower in in that spot. Yeah, yeah, you could. I was, th- I was kind of thinking about that myself. I was like, what else? Like, what other weapons are there? And then that is roughly the same. That's comparable to an Ardex gun. And yeah, I yeah. thought and then oh, instead Ardex of that armpit, flamers. just articulation. It's just Promethium. Promethium in the armpits. What could go wrong? Yeah, it's just a wide, wide muzzle and infinite amounts of fire. Yep. Fuck it. Don't even put arms on it. Just have it breathe fire out its nose, man. Come on. Well, the, you can do fuck. that with Corrupted yeah, Titans. Yeah, you can do that with Corrupted Titans, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the we war, f- Will. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's great. Just don't look anything directly in the eye. Right. So what legions do you think um, would benefit, or rather, what legion rules do you think the Dire Wolf would most most benefit from? Okay, um, if in the future we see, uh, I think Legio Solaria, honestly, because they get bonuses to, maybe it'll require a fact, I can't remember off the top of my head, but they get the camo netting, which will help protect you. Um, And then you also get something that fixes your legs, too, uh, if you get a critical. I think right now the leg fix is Warhound only. only. Warhound, right? But I think but the they net, could change it to Light Titan, and I think that would be very s- a scale scale. I think the, the net is at a scale, so I think this thing will be able to use that net, which could. I help. believe so. Yeah, I mean that'd be great. You put the net on the Dire Wolf, and you just don't move. You don't fire. Yeah, because that gets rid of it yeah. until you're in position. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That'd be awesome. With the draining carapace weapon, I'm just gonna. Continue to go on with a uh, Legio Storm because I'd be rolling extra repair die and re-rolling failed repair dice. Yeah, and keeping that like keeping the, that boy uh, cool. I like the idea of Legio Defensor using their uh, their stratagem that lets everybody fire at the sp- like before the cane starts. Yes, just ping people with yeah. neutron oh, lasers and God, it's a 50, that is chance to just turn off half the enemy's maniple. I was about to go goal. with Legio yes, or Desh, but that. That's yeah. the dirtiest trick you can play. What's Ord- um, I do want to hear what Ordesh would do. So Ordesh gets bonuses uh, if they're within line of sight of a bigger Titan. Oh, yeah. Jealous. Oh, and it's called Jealous. And this <laughs> one. Is? Yeah, I, I don't have the book on me to go read like the specific wording of it. This is bigger than mine. Um, but that's going to be good when your your Titan is kind of punching above its weight already. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, so it it has to see a, an enemy titan that's bigger than it. Yeah. I, oh, I so think just it gets, a bunch I think of it gets, I think, plus one just a bunch of rolls. fucking titans with yeah. short man attitudes. Yeah, because yeah. because their legio was so starved for titans that they became very jealous of other people. Yeah, yeah. Well, if I can't have nice things, nobody will. Yeah, yeah like if you can turn that into a strength eight base, suddenly oh, legio oh, uh, oh, legio oh, Calicitae yeah. never watched the Madam Blueberry episode of Veggie Tales. They never learned how to have a grateful heart. <laughs> That's a deep cut right there, Stephen. <laughs> Bam, Jesus, got him. right, right there. Um, Freaking I like, uh, I also like um, Legio Presagius for these guys uh, because chances are, even though you have the plus one accuracy at short range with the neutron laser, you're probably going to be firing outside of that short range um, just because you can. And Presagius allows you to re-roll the location die when you're firing in long range. Uh, interesting. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's nice because they're at strength seven. You know, if you get that headshot you've wasted your shot, right? Like yeah. you want to, you want to hit a soft spot or, I mean, it, even at strength seven, you can reliably knock a weapon off. Yeah. Like and even that, if you were firing that's enough a neutron to give it laser shock. at another neutron laser, then not only are you, yeah, not only are you, uh, breaking the gun, but you're shutting them down too. So they can't repair it in their repair phase. Oh, that's mean. It's dirty. Oh yeah. 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 Um, and I think Presagius also has a stratagem that lets them do like a like an opening salvo kind of thing. Delightful, so, absolutely oof, delightful. Oof, so 
so mean. I am I am eternally pleased by that idea. And then, of course, you have uh, Audax, who can stick these dudes in their, uh, who can probably maybe stick them in there. No, they can't put them in the Canis maniples. But they could buy Not them as yet, support but types they said, to the Canis they, they said that they were highly used by them, so I'm pretty sure we're going to see some FAQ at them. Yeah, it's true. Mind. They they are the ones who get the call out. It would be great if they if they got a like, hey, you can sub any mandatory or maybe like additional warhound uh-huh. for any, one of these guys. Any mandatory warhound can be made into a dire wolf, or one warhound can be made into a dire wolf. Honestly, it'd be kind of interesting to see if uh, if Kratos got a rule like that because Kratos has a lot of subtract or subtract single titan replace with warlord uh-huh. um, or a warbringer, and it'd be kind of cool if they brought dire wolves to the party. Yeah, I'm really interested to see what, because I assume they're going to get two bespoke maniples, because that seems to be just the standard. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I would have a lot of fun with them if there was one that's like, you know, maybe two of these and three warhounds, and then something with their other carapace wielding buddy. Uh huh. Just like an artillery detachment that's just like two so, of these, a uh, warbringer, and like a couple of who the fuck knows. So then let me ask you another question. Mm. How would you use the Crusading Titan rules to make a super mean dire wolf? Oh. Because my first thought was when Will brought up that Finnish tank, that's like its whole purpose is to fire, drive backwards, fire, drive backwards. Yeah. Put, uh, take Masters of Defense as one of your legio traits with this dire wolf, you walk backwards at full speed. And if you get charged, you can walk backwards and take a shot. (laughs) Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, if you wanted to run more volcano cannon, if like the neutron laser isn't your thing for whatever reason, uh, you could do the classic switch all small blasts for large. Oh oh God. Uh, for large and plus one strength, Mm -hmm. uh, to be just rude. I like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I I have I have the innate desire of just looking at it, not knowing like the the nitty gritty of the stats, to just mm-hmm. do what I was doing with my hounds. You know, secondary shield generator, because um, presumably it'll either have a bigger heat track to play with or another servitor clade, some combination of both. Um, so do that. Make it a big blast because people really don't like it when Warhounds throw up big blast at plus one strength. It's no, just so I rude. Don't. <laughs> don't. It's so does. mean. It's just I, was, I, I know. I was like, I was like, how, how is he doing this, guys? How is he doing this? He can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> Why do we let him do this? Yeah, life is hard. Yeah, there's there's a lot of fun stuff you can do with her. I will be definitely a re- I, also I just love how they drop these in like we never expect these new Titans like I'm no. always caught off guard like the the what was it not I mean even yeah bringing it back the to the, came out, the yeah. warmonger or the warbringer and then whatever Both of them. yeah every new Titan that has not been their main line the, like the, the classic three have always been like this is this blows me away that they're still coming up with Titan ideas. Yeah, it's but. basically that Joe Rogan meme, right? Where he's just yes. he's, staring, <laughs> he's staring at the ring. And it's just when Games Workshop drops a new Titan. <laughs> yeah, it's Good that's stuff, exciting, man. certainly. Certainly. I'll buy, I don't know if I'm going to, you know, go all in like Austin, but I'm going to buy at least one. For sure. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to need a couple. My, really, my Legio has, is like a small Titan Legio. I got to, I got to. I gotta. Well, I not, really want to get to the point where I can collect like a maniple of each. Like, I mean, I, I I go on Forge World and I see there's still plenty of models I don't own yet for yeah. AT that I need to you know fix. So yeah. Well, I I I don't have a whole lot of knights. At least I didn't until recently. Um, but I tend to struggle at kind of low point games because I can't bring enough like heavy stuff. Um, so the the dire wolf fits quite nicely in that. Mm-hmm, my, mm-hmm. My and and it would be a fun support for uh, your punchy your punchy list. You know, you don't have the full points to take a reaver. Presumably, this will be a little cheaper. Yeah, uh, yeah yes. Just build another Sanguinex uh, dire wolf, yeah. and just wait 
wait for the Reaver to punch something, and then jump out and neutron laser it. <laughs> <laughs> or, better yet, new, like, get in position and then neutron laser somebody before the Reaver charges, because I'm so sick and tired of yeah. people getting out of the way <laughs> of my perfectly set up charges. All I do is leave. Yeah. You cannot punch what is not there. I'm telling you, man, that's the best trick that Legio Solaria does. I love that ability. Yeah. Like when Jared Chart, I mean, to, my, to this day, it's still one of the best little plays I've ever made. Like Jared Chart set up his perfect charge. He charged me, and I was like, nah, Beach. And I just walked six inches away from him. And he was like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I, I hate it when people walk away from me when I'm trying to grapple don't with them. Get away from me when I'm Get over here. You. Yeah. Get over here yeah. so I can stab you. Yeah. Drive me closer. I want to hit them with my building sized power fist. Dire Wolf. Yep. Gonna get yeah, some. It's good stuff, man. I look forward to it. And then tonight we have the Horse Heresy stuff coming out, which is just oh, wild. Oh, man. Um, what do you think it's gonna be? Nothing. It's gonna be I'm fucking nothing. Somebody said, I saw <laughs> somebody say it was Khan on the bike, and I'm like... Oh, my God. It's just his bike, and it is $300. Yeah. Just like that uh, that sang- Sanguinaire or Sanguinaire's, uh display base that they had for a short time. Yep. Yeah. The separate... Sold separately. Yeah, I've so seen, wild, dude. I've seen people I, think uh, maybe uh, some more Praetors. I can buy that. With yeah, an expectation I'm, that they'll probably like... a. Represent all the legions as far as uh, yeah. Praetors before 2.0 comes out. Yeah, they they are still short a couple of those. I also wouldn't mind uh, some bespoke models for these new units they've been dropping. Like I think they oh, all had some sort of conversion. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Like oh, in, in you mean photos? for like the uh, for the ex- uh, exemplary battles? Yeah, for yeah. The exemplary battle units. I I think that would be kind of cool. I'd also I'm like excited to see those them to units. just drop an entire line of Imperial Militia. God, I'd do an oh, 8th Militia shit. Army so fast. 7th. Are, are y'all excited for any of the uh, any of the 40k releases? I know we're ostensibly a, a Horus Heresy podcast, but... Uh, I well, always like I mean, to see what they got going on. Yeah, uh, I've really, really, really been liking these Eldar releases. Um, I'm not going to lie, man. I've really been tempted... That new Avatar, to yo. Go, to go do a little, a, a small little Eldar combat patrol or whatever, and then maybe probably what if sell I told it off. You, what we if I bring it back to the play, Great Crusade, Will? Yeah, what if I told you you could play Kill Team with those, um... Yeah, get a box of Dire Avengers. Eldar. Bam. Yeah. yeah. Box of Guardians. Uh, I bam. just, I, I don't know why I've never been attracted to them before, but these new ones, I don't know, man. There's just something about them. They, it's because space cells are cool. I guess I don't know. They just look. They're just different. I think that's what it is. They're just different from the the typical Imperium stuff, you know. And it's new stuff that's different. We so. have we have basically only been painting Space Marines for the past yeah three or four years. I saw that. For um, yourself. <laughs> what is it? The real King Fluff. I think he goes by on Instagram. I found that he's doing like like every year for three years straight. He's been doing a uh, like a sort of hobby bingo, hmm. and uh, one of them on the hobby bingo thing is. Uh, paint a model that's not games workshop and i was like that's not gonna happen <laughs> I, can't, Never. I can't do that uh patty and i went to um hobby town today and well i haven't been there since it opened mm-hmm. and i was trying to find just some cheap ten dollar model that i could build and paint just to check that box i looked man none of them were appealing to me but patty found an eevee pokemon yeah. model so she picked that up and uh that was dope. I didn't know they made EV Pokemons or uh, uh, models like that for kids. And Pokemans. Pokemans. What are you, Pokemans? my dad? A Pikachu. My dad used to. Come hey, you got a, You got <laughs> any, you got any you of like, Pikachus laying around? You like Pokemans, right? God for, damn it, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> fucking yeah. But uh, I I don't know. It's now you've said that it's going to be caught on the bike, and I have. Zero desire to be up at one o'clock to see that. So thank you. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, going to bed. Yep, going to bed. Yeah, is it worth it? Probably not. My gut says that. Like I mentioned this before, but you know, it's going to be a thirty-second teaser with some uh, you know, voice actor reading a quote from Siege of Terra. Don't see a goddamn thing. It just says coming soon. 
It'll be it. Jonathan Keeble and a date. Yeah. Oh my god. Even if they do Just that, Jonathan you know it's Keeble break going the like eighth of June, twenty twenty two. That's my <laughs> That's birthday. It. That'd Not be great. And, that and be then people dope. are gonna be like, wait a minute, that text, it's written in a specific font that was released on this day back when ADB was Just writing this the, book and it's equated. The internet, yeah. Go fucking berserk. <laughs> Oh, try to dissect every just a crumb, a crumb of serotonin. Please, look at, look Lord at the way Keeble. the smoke effect was in that top right corner there, off the two inches. I could have That's, sworn. Oh my god! I could have sworn on that black screen. I saw Horace's face. I saw it. I could swear it. Just if you look in the smoke, a whole, a whole just like that. Heresy players, <laughs> just like desperate that. for some for some dopamine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We've been. It's the drip feed of the exemplary battles has been helpful for sure. Mm-hmm. But it's been scratching the itch. Not hard, not but much. It's but it. it's like, okay, all right. It's okay, like a come on, new rule book. Just come on. Cheap just, 99 cent back scratch you got at a gas station. Like a heroin <laughs> addict being handed a needle, but there's nothing in it yet. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. But, uh, it's all the parts to it's all the parts to build a needle. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like I uh, my hobby mojo has been completely just dead past few yeah. months. I, the holiday season, I haven't touched anything. I haven't touched anything all year long. I've just been ready for, you know, to see what's new. I've been in just this holding pattern, and it's been kind of frustrating, but I haven't really had much of an urge to paint anything. I finally broke my spell after, I want to say, two or three months since the Christmas party. You know, since like two weeks before mm-hmm. uh, that Christmas party was the last time I painted something. Um and, you know, finally, yesterday, I primed some models and put some paint on them. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm slowly working back into it, but I did not feel joy while I was doing it. Yeah. I think the point, I just need to get paint on a model. And I think then yeah. it'll break. Because mm-hmm. my hobby yeah. desk is just a straight up mess. I think that's what I need to do. Clean off my desk, get all my paints organized, and just do it. Sure. But I mean, my hobby mojo is so bad. I walked into Hobby Town and I left with nothing, guys. Man, I've I, never done that. Not even a little, like, little sandpaper I, stick. I didn't get get even a single ninety nine cent emery board. Damn. Aside from Pat's little Eevee, it was it. And I looked at everything and I was like, "Do I need that?" And I was like, "No, nah, I'm really not going to use it right now." And I was like, "What the yeah. fuck is wrong with me?" <laughs> what you need to do, you need to go to a new game store. I need to have an intervention, but like the opposite of one where people encourage you. To you do need the bad to go. Thing. You <laughs> need to go to like you. take this cocaine. Yeah, you need to go to a game store you haven't been to because you never know what kind of weird shit sitting in a corner. Yeah, and your natural sense of like shame will just force you to buy something. So you oh, didn't just true. wander into the game store yeah. for no yeah. reason. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll <laughs> yeah, go to world's best at one point. Yeah, uh, yeah, I have not been best. to there. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's good times. All, All sorts of weird stuff opinion. in there. Is that in Bridgeport Newport News? It's, it's a Newport news. news. Oh, okay. Get some, get some okay. Viking Burger. Go to go to World's Best. That's the that's the play. Ooh, yeah. I think I'm gonna start making some weekend plans now. Man, I told you what the I tell you what for all of the go to a different store. When I'm here out of town, you know, I try and find stores within an hour at mm-hmm. least. There ain't nothing out here. These people. Where are you? You said only, you're in North Carolina. Are you near Bragg? I am uh, in Aurora, North Carolina. I think the closest is- major city is Raleigh. Right, okay. Riley. Outside Raleigh. of Raleigh. outside of Bragg at in Fayetteville, there is a single hobby shop called The Hobbit, and uh-huh. it had like like when you go in there, it looked like a den of plastic. It was <laughs> you could it it was dark and scary and look you felt like you were going to get stabbed in an alleyway, but you were going to be inside this building. You were just when it you happened. were in a Necromunda hobby store. It was it was crazy. Like he's got all kinds of kit bash models hanging down from the ceiling, all staring uh, at you. Every and he you know he's got all kinds of stuff from like regular hobby stuff to you know Warhammer stuff and and then in the back he had like three tables and then like D and D tables and stuff like that. But it was creepy because he had to go through this like door to get to the stuff and you're like I'm about to be taken into an ice cooler somewhere and just slash the cards. The Hobbit. The Hobbit. Yeah. <laughs> Stephen's like sign me the fuck up. Yeah. It Simply really does here. not give you good vibes. But then once you're there, man, it's it's magical. Like I, oh, I used to love closed. to go there. Ah. What? Like forever? No, just till Friday. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it tomorrow. Is, <laughs> it's two hours and nine minutes away from me. 
Uh, yeah. It's a game store that closed before seven o'clock. It closes. Uh, it closes at ten. No, it's not a game store. It's a hobby store. Yeah. Let's be clear. Okay. I mean, okay. they, fair, they fair, have fair. tables back there, but it's primarily just for hobbies, and that that's where I used to go. That's where I got my first towel. Actually, was huh. there. Oh yeah. Oh 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. This Google Google has photos, and it looks the Hobbit. Did I, cool. Do you think I described it accurately? Um, it's well more. It's it's way more well lit in the photos than you uh, described. You it. described it well but when it, I was going really there. Has, he, he, he was he must have had the going green initiative because all the lights were off. He he's got a. It has this really cool old school comic book store vibe. Like yeah. all the oh, furniture so, is just yeah. like plain wood. Yes. Uh, it's just fluorescent. It, it, yeah, it looks pretty cool. And that's always the place where, especially for collectors, you know, that's always the places that you find old Imperial armor volumes, uh-huh. uh, old metal, metal space Marines or, or character models and stuff. Oh yeah. Uh, oh man. That's this is cool. taking me down a memory lane, my dude. Uh, yeah. Well, so yeah. I might, maybe I'll go check, try and check that out tomorrow. It's only two hours away. And I get yeah. off relatively early. Hmm. Only two hours away. Hopefully in the right direction. I don't know. No, where, or... no, 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 no. Absolutely <laughs> the wrong direction. <laughs> two hours out of my way. It will make the drive back to Richmond a five-hour drive. If, if you're there, check out and see if you can go to the um, All-American Airborne and Special Forces Museum while you're there. I am there to buy plastic Slash metal I'm just saying, soldiers, not to they honor have, the men and women no, they who have, have jumped out of planes. A shell of a C-47 with static lines and everything, and you can pretend you're one of the paratroopers jumping out on D-Day. It's really cool. And when you go inside the plane, like the the plane is part of the exhibit. Like you have to walk through this thing, and it's like the hallway. But inside, you're inside the fuselage or whatever. And like they have like fake gunshots and flak going off and sparks flying through it, and then it's oh, a, cool. like I was I was Get actually ready to jump. <laughs> yeah, it's, I was actually about wild. to ask if um, cost of admission comes with a free case of irreparable trauma. <laughs> <laughs> it most certainly does, sir. Yeah, <laughs> fantastic. Oh, Lord. I've, I've been just begging for a reason to not go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can't went to a very realistic museum. <laughs> <laughs> just couldn't couldn't take it. I learned like so I was much. There, man. Some things I didn't want to learn. Yeah, yeah. I I am burdened with with knowledge about mm-hmm. others and most especially about myself. Yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll do that. I don't know. That was a that was a weird look into the things that I do out of town. I'm glad that <laughs> I'm sure all of our patrons will appreciate that. Uh-huh. Still, I've always wondered. But yeah, it's it's been an hour or so going to close it up unless anyone has anything else they want to talk about real quick no i'm excited for tonight since since jesse insists that this will be out tonight just a reminder siege of soyang saturday which for you listeners is tomorrow gonna be at battlegrounds gonna be awesome have a lot of fun there are 12 people signed up they're nerds inshallah they all show up but life gets in the way feel free to come out uh, especially if you're like, you know, traveling a little bit, we'll make room, we'll find room. It'll be delightful. Sounds nice, nice good. Hangus. Yep. Saturday, Battlegrounds, the 29th. Sure. Yes. Saturday, Saturday, <laughs> Saturday. Kid seats are still just five bucks. Five bucks. Grave digger. <laughs> go, 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 grave digger. <laughs> Oh God. Monster trucks, people. I know we got an international crowd. They I know, know what the know. fuck we're talking about. Oh shit. Dude, they don't wait, have are you talking about outside yeah. of the country? I'm assuming not, but I could it it does, can't they, be they, only they can't American, possibly. Right? There's no it way. Actually, what other American. country has right. both the lack of taste and the money to do both of those, <laughs> like to have a monster, monster truck rallies? I guess you're right. Yeah. Monster Jam is international. Fans are turning out in large numbers in, in South America. So, okay, what do they do? Trucks huh. Okay, to so maybe we can get into this later, or possibly have the listeners write in and tell us, uh, or or patrons, or this sounds like somebody that episode. Let's <laughs> let's go ahead 
and table this and we'll ask the question here and possibly circle back. Uh But what are, what is your country's version of monster trucks? Yeah, go on YouTube, take a look at some uh, uh, Grave it's Digger commercials. Yeah. yeah. Look at, Shake look at your head trucks. and then say, oh, wait a second. Uh, here in Europe, we have this. Yeah, yeah. Also, if there's a, yeah, if there's a European... Over the border, <laughs> fuck, same thing. Jesus Christ. If there's a European version of Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer, I would like to know about it. <laughs> <laughs> Just Paul. Uh, folks, once again, thanks for listening to another episode of the Remembrancers Retreat. If you enjoy our program, be sure to like and subscribe to us on iTunes, Spotify. I'm sorry, not iTunes, Apple Podcasts, excuse me. Spotify, wherever you listen to your podcasts. You can like us on Facebook and Instagram at R30K Podcast. If you really enjoy our program and like to support us, go over to patreon.com forward slash RR30K Podcast. And now, as always, we'd like to thank all of our patrons, starting with our praetors, Alex Self, Chap Lanisar, Chris Mack, Jacob Dillon, Gardner.Tree of Woe, Joe from Music City Heresy, Luke Rizzuto, Matthew Boyce, Michael Tisdale, Mr. Baldwick, Nicholas Quenga, Rena the Floof, Sar Luther, Taco Tuesday or Bust Rock and Roll, oh, I'm sorry, Taco Tuesday or Bust 22 Rock and Roll McDonald's. That's my favorite patron name. And what's Ligma? Our Legion Centurions, Aaron Maynard, Andrew N., Angry Boy, Dave Jones, Duncan, Ed, John Christensen, M. Tanzer, Gore Crow, Nick, Son of Tacticus, Void Imperatrix, ah, roll off the tongue there, Void Imperatrix, I think I got it that time, sorry if I just butchered it, Our Legion Sergeants Agrippina, Emily O'Hare, Garrett Lowe, Jay DeSales, Jay Grammaticus, Carl, Mr. Sear, Nick Gillen, The Zoy, and what do I call myself? Surrender Gill. Okay. <laughs> yep, that's it. The man scored a super ten. He deserves to be honored. Don't know what a is super ten that, is. Is this that game you were? Is this that that game you were talking about? The Indian one with the tag. It is. <laughs> and there's gonna be one listener that's like, "Holy shit! Why does this white guy watch this game?" But it's amazing. You have to send me a link. I'm gonna have to check this out. But uh, once again, my name's Jesse. I guess I'm Steven. I guess we're doing this. Austin and Will, uh, where'd Will go? Don't know where Will go. There's Austin. There is Austin. There he goes. Will's gone. But uh, that's it for now. Keep those dice rolling. We'll 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 see you later. See you next time, folks. We'll see you tonight, patrons. Because I'm just going to go live. I think. Oh, fancy. Mm-hmm. Now I might now I might stay up till one to do it with you. All right. Man, no, I can't do that. God Fucking damn it. Mad men, both of you. I gotta go to work. I, I gotta don't go have climb to. around uh, the pipe racks. This is Don't tempt me, Frodo. Anyway, bye for now. Keep those dice rolling again. Bye. Bye. Uh...